Hello everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. This will probably be a tarot reading though. I And my name's Denise, in case you're new. Welcome. <laughs> and I hope you guys are doing really well this week. So I'm going down my list of uh, the Trump family. And so this one is devoted to Eric and Laura Trump for like about the last week in August through maybe the first week in September, somewhere in there. So let's check in. Okay, hold on while I bring the camera down over my table. <laughs> okay, so I'm using Cheryl Marchetti's Kipper again. And this uh, reading, of course, as you can see, is for Eric and Laura Trump. Let's do an update on, on them. <laughs> I don't know if I care so much about the past and present with them. Uh, well, loosely, I guess, but mostly future. Is the whole family thinking of getting away or trying to escape? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Boy. Don Jr. and Kimberly Guilfoyle's reading was really... Ugh. Okay, this is a whole different couple. Eric. Uh. Okay. What is going on there and what is the future? Let's see. Actually, this is one. Yeah, it's always about the money. Now that's not her, but it could be her sister. Oh, interesting. It, this card can just be about wealth as well, so there can be some restriction on their money flow. Yes, of course, because of deception, something's wrong. And this isn't him, but this would be uh, to Eric. Well, this could either be, you know what, you guys, this could be Ivanka. This could be Don Jr., because these are the sister and brother cards. Wow. All right, let's keep going. My goodness. Okay, now this is definitely Eric. When that card comes through, that's Eric. Yeah. He's, uh, he's got some depression sneaking up on him. Plans that won't be working and something very surprising. So let's just move these up a little bit. Okay, so the theme here is restriction, restriction that causes them major depression. Now, I don't know about Laura, I mean, I, but then again, I mean, she did work for the Trump administration, so she might be in there with some legal ramifications. But I don't, notice that we don't have any legal cards here. We just have deception, something's wrong. This is just like the fox in the Lenormand. Um, and I feel like this is Don Jr. Now this could also be his ambition. This could be, the, or even the whole couple's ambition. And for wealth, right? This is, if these cards are not people, if they are people, they're sisters, and friends, and brothers and friends. If they aren't people, they are wealth and luxury and ambition. And you know, the wealth and luxury is there too. Unless there's a lot of negative cards around it. Uh, there, There is a negative card here, so this is the restriction due to their cheating. And you know, sticking by their dad, their loyalty here. This is a card of um, success and wealth, and it, it can be something that comes through because of all the effort you've put in. I, I have a feeling, yeah, because you, now this card would be, 
I was going to say I'd have a feeling it has to do more with Laura, but I'm not sure about that actually. Now that I'm looking down here at the poverty card, and these two cards bookending here, let me let me back up here before I go there. This would be his ambition. This would be um, both of their ambitions, just to make money and grift, because we've got the grifting card here, and that's where the ambition was headed to grift, and that that's going to be stopping. I don't know that he that he will be locked up, I, unless something comes down the pike for him. This this can be imprisonment, but it can also just be a, a your self imposed prison where you're just alone and isolated, and um, you know you you can't get out of some awful situation. And the situation would be his obsessive compulsive disorder his major depression and it's sneaking up behind him uh, towards the future his plans will not go um, his, his strategy will not go as planned with this card here and with this card above so the grifting is not going to help he could be looking at some time in like a club med or club what am I saying club med club fed <laughs> not in the Mediterranean, but a club-fed type of a situation because of um, the lawsuits against Trump organization, which he was a part of, one of the you know signatures, signatories, uh, executors. Um, interesting. Yeah, his ambitions his, that are hanging over him are of grave concern. This is more about him than her. She didn't come through here. I really feel like this is Ivanka, and this is Don Jr., and this is him. And they're grifting in plans, strategies, and, you know, from the past. And then here we have our answer card with subpoenas, with some something coming through. And he's headed towards poverty, whether it's actually outright, you know, like destitution, like this card, like can't make ends meet, or it's just some lesser degree of good fortune, right? And he's created this by his, you know, because it's basically all these kids have done, they are these adult, you know, kids, even... <sighs> Even Ivanka with her um, even Ivanka with her Wharton, you know, uh, degree, she's still I think she does she have an MBA or something from Wharton. She she still has just sucked off her dad. They still they've stuck by that, you know, um, name brand type of thing. She needs to just well, she did try her own heels and clothes and you know, she has her own thing going on there. But I don't think she's doing that well with it. Now, what was on the bottom is a bunch of documents, communications as to who they've been in bed with to get their, you know, great fortune. Let's see what was another one that right next to it. Yeah, the reputation. They're just his, that's the problem. Their reputation is so tied to their fathers that when he goes down, that he's, you know, they're all going with him. And they've all been in it with him. They don't have an innocent piece in this at all. So um, with that as the backdrop, let me, I feel like just doing some, another, maybe another five cards on top. So let me get these shuffled and I'll, I'll do that just to look a little bit further into the future. This mostly looks to me like um, just Eric. I could be wrong. We'll see. What is the future for Eric and Laura Trump? Okay. For sure for him, it's definitely, you know, some restriction that leads to money issues. This could be assets being seized, you know, Trump organization assets being seized, and his, his revenue stream just stopped, right? Ambitions and revenue stream and wealth stopped. Locked up. 
let's let's see what else if there is anything else now this normally would have been his mom but you know she's on the golf course okay so rules and regulations political ambitions hmm let's just keep going here Visit, visitations, visitors from some political visitor coming through. Man, to have both of the grifting cards here, the deception and the grifting, the fraud and the grift, and that's the direction they're headed. So the soul journey that, and I don't know so much about her, but definitely Eric, Then again, I'd have to draw another layer to see if, like, are they headed to a divorce at some point. But anyway, uh, he, for sure Eric is on this soul journey of um, the grifting and lying and thieving and deception is going to be seen. He's going to be recognized. This card is a little, quite a little bit like the Six of Wands in the Tarot. And... So seen and recognized for his political part. And this does not have to be a person. This could be his political support. The mature woman is a card of support. So that being said, let's draw another layer here. Just one more and then we'll be done. What is their future? Who else wants to talk? Yeah, he's he's headed towards some health problems or at least a down patch. Now there they are together. And because he showed up first, I would say it looks to me like he might be in a little bit more control, but at least she's coming in. Hmm. That's interesting. And their cards are like right there on top of each other. Okay, so maybe she's in it for the long haul or something that takes her a long time. Yeah, because they do have, I don't know how many kids they have together, I can't remember, but they do have those kids. Yeah, I, I don't see divorce or anything like that, at least not yet. I see her in it for the long haul. She's got the kids and she has her home. Yeah. Okay, kind of boring, but yeah. But th this is important here, These, this backdrop right here of uh, Eric. And notice it's like, you know, well, you get what you need. I, I've, I've received the message that I needed first, and then this came in layers. So I feel like this card's important here, too. Because this is having to take responsibility. The official person card is having to take responsibility for something you've done in the past. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this uploaded for you. Hope you guys are doing really well. <laughs> take good care. Bye.